need to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Wanna pop a squat, golden boy? You're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. My shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on, you don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. So, Warlock. He's something. Eh, not sure we can trust the guy who looked at the Grand Unicorn himself and thought, the lad looks like a reliable rascal. He simply knows that the true evil is Magus. Raker is but an impressionable fanatic. A fanatic with a lot of firepower. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on. It was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. You rode and saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, we'll save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Let's make this quick. What do you want, Quill?
Ta-da! Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Cosmo? I guess that explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. Or it'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Hey, old traveler. Have you accepted the truth of the divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. We thank the matriarch for her gift. All them bars and betting parlors and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great! Cocoon Boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. Alright guys, this is Chris G. I'm back with my game that's kind of T.I. Gameology. And I'm here doing Guardian of the Galaxy. Alright guys, as always, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna miss Mantlos and that place with the dancers. And Alice Bar? Remember that time we caught a liquor thief under their sling boot table? I remember how crap that liquor tasted. Who pays that much for rust juice? And guys, if you haven't, please do so. I greatly appreciate that. As always, thank you for watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting on my videos, good or bad, guys. So, I don't care. What happens if we find Goldie, but he's I appreciate it all. We place him in a safe location until we can tend to his wounds. I think he means what if he's dead. Yeah, that. And we place him in a safe location until we can give him a proper burial. As always, guys. So we walk through 18, I believe. And let's continue. Let's this. Time to save Nikki. No, fuck. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Travelers, have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. 
Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill them for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. If the promise is to be realized here, Converted will be flocking in to witness it. 
Are we the only new arrivals? We must be late, as usual. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down! Rock and Peter are finished. Six more ability points to complete all of them. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. If Cosmo is on their side, getting to the Vortex could be a lot harder. The Church believes they have already won. Must use that to our advantage. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters. Like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really? Cute. No, guys, I need that tool. Kind of dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere really stunk sometimes, but. Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone giving them anything for free. Yeah, I don't know, Rocket. Like Gamora said, everybody wants something. The church tailors their offer to the individual. Seems to me most of them would give in. Or they'd be killed. Not an easy choice. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Which part? He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. About how Nikki and that Magus thing might be too intertwined to save her. Is that what he said? It's easier to understand Bug Lady. Don't suppose we could try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. Huh. Lousy fun flockers! Get ready! Shh! Try not to give ourselves away. Really? One hit? Company. Lousy fun flarkers! Get ready to die! They do not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt them first. Stick it to a brute! Let loose, Rocket! Massacre them! We can only ever count on the real guardians! 
queries the deeper we go. Hundred units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing. They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. I'm surprised the church was able to seize the cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. Eh, wasn't half as secure as the dog thought. The church's forces increased by the tick. Their superior numbers could have easily breached the defenses. Well, we got just the five of us. Filling us all with confidence there, big guy. Some soon characters we haven't found. Any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. <coughs> I had a contact here rotations ago. You did? Was it Blurf? Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Hello! Peter! Well, that didn't work. Larkin, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Clear back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. If I can find a way over there. <clears throat> Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Don't leave me hanging. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. There has been no sign of Goldie Bronze since he leapt from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and was just waiting to attack us. The Warlock carries an old grudge. Not align himself with the Grand Unifier. And yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. My memory is flawless. I'm just an optimist. Ha! Warlock's stronger than any of us. And he's got a pretty good reason to hate Raker. So you buy his ripped my soul in two story. Just saying, if anybody stands a chance going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Raker, it's him. And we're gonna need the Grand Unifier out of the way if we want to stop this ritual. Throw the meat into the meat grinder to keep it busy. That's not what I... No! 
I'm on board now, Quill. It's a solid strategy. What do you think they did with all the nobodies? They were either below us, awaiting the fulfillment, or they have been transported to Sacrosite. To join the other millions. Chanting in that massive cylinder. Eh, still not as scary as Drax's Katathian war songs when he's taking a shower. once this mess is sorted. You fear he will lose his command. He wouldn't have many defenses left to push back a second invasion. I ain't never been on the dog's good side. Let's keep it down. More churchies dropping in. They'll be dropping like flies soon enough. <laughs> A dead end for some more than others. They must have started the fulfillment already. Why? I just figured there'd be more converted around up here. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. I have seen nowhere this desolated before. Oh, the Emporium used to be right here. The church destroy it? Doubt it. The collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign, the collector's careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nah, the cortex could. Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the celestial head. Bring it back to life? Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Bah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. They say celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We've become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. If we just one big happy park and family. What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. <laughs> Doll. <laughs> Behold the power of the light, Vaya Magnati! Of the galaxy, 
Save the believers and alert the Grand Unifier. The recruitment must not be stopped. That's it. We finally snapped. Gamora, wait for us. <laughs> oh, you are next. Never better. Yep, definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? Some more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flogged up church. No, of course not. Just. Just what, Peter? I don't know. 
every, every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me, my sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protected hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The Nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted she loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did. You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like, I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agree. That's about all the love fest I could take. We accept you, Gamora's and Bree. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. What say we go stop a nut job cult leader? Yes. Oh, will not 
not break so easily. It's just gonna get harder from here. I relish the challenge. reserve forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down! Just go more on group. And I need three abilities so I can boots the last one will be just given to me. Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. Gamora? How am I supposed to drop the most interesting thing she's ever done? Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. All words are made up. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. should be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. Really? A Fate Force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. You see that kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? Disconnect the power, Quill. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me. Can't you do something to shut off the power? That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead. Let's book it! Now is not the time for literature! But this would make a great story! Uh. 
Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise, but you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. <laughs> Come on, welcome. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. How? It can't be. I saw you die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oops. <laughs> Idiot. God damn, raccoon. Shaman compels them! Yeah, the sooner that guy's down, the better. Okay, we gotta get to that elevator. At least the rooftops will provide some cover. Buy some time, Groot. Make sure you don't fall off. I got jet boots, remember? Our blows seem insignificant. Crap! Now it's Nova! These soldiers are down with our local security. This has got my name on it! Feel this? No fair! He's boosting everyone but us! Then put him in a body bag! Problem? Solution! So many He's a breathing man, Groot! Keep shooting! I'll get closer! Huh? Boy, 
This will work. We can leapfrog our way back onto the bridge. Leapfrog? It's a... Just follow my lead. Another crazed Novacore soldier down! Posterior, his champion cheeks. Wait, who said that? Must suck to be a celestial head just floating around the edge of the universe's stuck toilet. And then parasites move in and build a space station. They start digging out your brains until a death cult evicts everybody and starts blowing up what's left of you. Too deep. 
Guys, it's been a pretty long video. So, you know what? It's about 53 minutes roughly. PlayStation.